Well, it started actually when I started working in games. Almost more than 10 years ago. 12 minutes, it's about a man trapped in a time loop. There's still a narrative you're going through, but they keep repeating. Are, are you kidding me? It was going to be a short game, and I was doing everything. But then one year in, right, the game, it's almost like saying, look, if you go a little bit further, this can get really interesting. Twelve minutes is about the danger of truly examining within and really looking deep and trying to unpick your actions, you know? You're not listening to me. It wasn't my fault. Not like you, you've been lying. Look, You're blaming me now? No, no, I mean... That's it. I never want to see you again. I should have told you. I know that. But he was trying to kill me. It was self-defense. I think having real choice and knowing that your choices are either going to lead in one direction or another, where you go in the game will, I think, depend on you as an, an individual. It's been a while, huh? I cannot remember the last time we danced. Well, you know, it's not just the two of us dancing now. It's really hard to prepare because um, you're really stripped down. You're really just creating material for them. And it's very important for them to guide you to kind of say what the situation is, what they need from you. And you try to give them something that's lively, something that has truth, something that uh, you can personalize, and something that's dynamic. That's the best you can do? It's been over 20 years. What do you expect? I barely remember her. It was so long ago. You know, you play with your voice musically and emotionally to get the variations. You just won't listen. You just won't listen. You just won't listen. Part of your job is to make it live as if it were the first time. We build a full backstory for the characters from the day they're born until the moment that the, that the experience starts. So once they knew where they came from, it was just being in the situation and behaving how the, the character would behave. What? Why are you saying this? Is this some kind of sick joke? This is funny to you? No, I'm trying to- Get away from me! You are so naive, such a child. It's the right thing to do. No, this is! The whole team is remote, everything is remote, even for motion capture. I could be looking at the game engine while we were recording and that documentation. I, I could just have all these things next to me while someone else was performing. Let him go down a bit and then delivers the final blow. Yeah, something like that. You can choose how the camera moves and what kind of planes it uses, right? Are we against a flat wall? Do we have perspective? Uh, the colors. If you're aware of every single element you have to use when you're trying to convey something, um, you can use all those elements for your idea. I, I always compare it like if you're doing a painting, we, we spend more time thinking of where to place the brush stroke than actually doing the brush stroke. Look, I know this sounds weird, but the day's repeating itself. Particularly because you don't see our faces in it, you really are projecting whatever you're feeling onto the character. So in that way, it's interesting too that it is just top down. The reason why the game is overhead was early on, it was just because I, I wanted the most simple way to control the character. Anyone can play the game. Anyone that doesn't play games can very easily navigate. And, and then as I kept adding elements, there was never a reason to, to change the camera. It, it just became its own aspect of the game. It's certainly a very bold choice to choose that top angle and really commit to it. It's really what happens inside of that very specific frame, that very cinematic choice is what's really interesting. We've been using that, that word cinematic. That's been a real touchstone for us. 
uh, the whole way through. I don't know how somebody could go through this game and accomplish what you accomplish in this game and not have that same sense of fulfillment uh, that you get when you really get the satisfaction at the end of a well-made movie. Yeah, I'm a huge film fan. I love film. Uh, they make you feel certain emotion. There's movies that change your life. They change your perspective on something. Or if you're going through something and the right movie comes at the right time, it just hits you in a way that it's... I just need some time to myself. Come on, babe, please, stop it. Just go somewhere else, please. The image and the acting and the storytelling, it's all these things coming together in an harmony that, that allows you to, to really grow. And, and I've always been fascinated by that. One night I was like, imagine we had like these amazing actors, or imagine we have a composer doing a score, imagine we bring this to this other level. And, and Apurno, I spoke with them very early on. We always wanted to work together. And they were like, yeah man, let's try that. You coward! You would destroy or declare your own conscience. Willem, this is not news, but he is an incredible actor. Getting to do it through Zoom with him, we get to make decisions based on a reaction, not just what I think my line should be, but oh god, he's doing that. Okay, well that colors my line like this. Daisy, I worked with, and she was she was great. She's smart. She's fun. She's really talented. We were looking for an actor that was able to convey this inner strength, and and, and Daisy was exactly that. But James, I feel he has this attitude like, let's do it, man. Let's we, we'll figure this out. I, I have all these tools. Let's just look at this, and we we'll, we will get there. He was able to deliver these lines where you can feel that this guy is going through something pretty complicated. You can feel the trembling in his voice. No, look, I didn't mean to. This is never what I wanted. I just wanted to be with you. If I could do it all over again. I'm leaving. Don't be here when I come back. There are so many versions of the story that will either reveal something or show something. And you as the player are revealing how you deal with truth, how you deal with other people's truth. This game is something you play, but it's also something you create. You aren't just watching a story unfold. Because I couldn't read the entirety of the script. It was impossible, because there's so many avenues. The player of the on? game, they're going to participate in a way that they complete the performance. It will be different things for different people. People do this comparison a lot. If games were film, we're still like in the, the black and white silent movie era. We're slowly finding that this can go somewhere else. The text is so huge, it might as well be a film. You have to really trust the director. I would like to see what we can do with the interactive medium to get closer to bridging that gap and finding all this granularity in the interaction. Right, it's the only one where there's a dialogue between you and the experience, so there's definitely something there. Emergency services. And I think this one is doing it a little bit, right? You're, you're an active participant in this movie you're going through. You listened, and you're still here. I told you. <laughs>